Hello, Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com, and I'm going to show you the six best ways to keep chicken liver on your hook. Now, chicken liver is a great bait. I've caught some great catfish on it, but the biggest problem with chicken liver is it's soft and tears off the hook when casting or when small fish are biting on it. So I'm going to show you the six best ways to keep it from falling off the hook. Number six, cured chicken liver with borax and salt. Curing chicken liver with borax and salt makes it last a whole lot longer. This piece here has been in my refrigerator for over a month and it doesn't rot, it doesn't stink, and as you can see here, it's a whole lot tougher too. It takes a lot of doing to get it to tear in half. You can cure chicken liver by spreading it out onto a cardboard and sprinkling both sides of the liver with salt. Also, take some borax that you can find in most grocery stores in the laundry section and sprinkle both sides of the liver with the borax. Once it's soaked in and you've gotten both sides covered, put it in a Ziploc bag with a little bit more borax and let it marinate for an hour or two. Spread the chicken liver out onto some hardware cloth or wire mesh or a drying rack. Let the air circulate all around the pieces. Let them sit out anywhere from one to five days depending on the temperature. Once they've gotten leathery and tacky on one side, flip them over. Once it's all flipped over, go and sprinkle more borax on top of the chicken liver. This will really help get the moisture out of the chicken liver and toughen it up. The borax also acts as a preservative and keeps bugs away. Once the chicken liver has dried nicely, put it all in a Ziploc bag and add a little extra borax and shake it up. Then put it in the refrigerator and it will last a very long time. The end product is this, a nice, tough patty of chicken liver. It's a fraction of the thickness of the original chicken liver. It's tough, it doesn't come off the hook, and it doesn't rot. The fifth way to get chicken liver to stay on the hook is with surgical gauze and stinger hooks. Now I have Steve Douglas from discovercatfishing.com to thank for this idea. The stinger hooks are pretty simple to tie. Get about 24 inches of leader, and tie it on to the bottom hook using a knotless knot. Knotless knot is super easy. Just basically feed it through the eyelet, whip it around the shank about seven times, and then once it's all good, feed it back through the eyelet. Position the top hook exactly how far away from the bottom hook you want it, then do another knotless knot, and you're done. It's an extremely simple and an effective way to use chicken liver. The beauty of the stinger rig is that the top hook and the bottom hook act in tandem to spread out the pressure that's being put on the chicken liver over two hooks. Stinger rigs are also really effective when you're getting a lot of bites by small catfish who can't fit the entire rig in their mouth. Once you have the stinger rig tied up, then get yourself some surgitube gauze. The 7 8 inch surgitube gauze is about $10 on Amazon.com. Get a roll of it, tie a knot in the end, and then trim up the knot. Then uh, pull yourself out about six inches, five inches of surgical tube gauze and cut it off. Okay, this is what you're going to shove your chicken liver in. So the first thing you do is pull it and stretch it open, turn the thing inside out so the knot's on the inside, and it makes this tidy little pouch that you're going to put the chicken liver inside. So then grab your chicken liver, it doesn't matter if it's the little bits and gooey stuff or you got a nice healthy chunk, just whatever, shove it on in there and fill up the pouch as best you can. Once the pouch is filled with chicken liver, you want to take the open end and pinch it shut, like a little purse. Next, take the top hook on the stinger rig and push it through the lip of the open end of the pouch. Once the hook is pushed through, then you're going to twist the pouch until it becomes a very tight ball of chicken liver. The juices will start to drip out and it'll feel really tight in your hands. Once that's done, take the point and drive it into the top of the pouch and shove it out the side. This will keep the pouch from unraveling or popping open when you're casting and the fish are biting on it. Next, take the bottom hook on the stinger rig and shove it about halfway down into the side of the pouch. Shove it in as deep as you can and then pop it out the bottom and slide it up the shank. Now you have a hook at the top of the pouch, you have a hook at the bottom of the pouch. So if a big fish comes and engulfs it, you got him. If a little fish comes and nibbles the bottom, you got it. Because you have two hooks stuck into a ball of gauze, this is far and away the strongest method for using chicken liver. This is really hard to lose bait this way. However, it costs a little bit of money and it takes a lot of prep to get it on the hook. 
Next, we're going to show you how to use pantyhose to secure chicken liver. So if you have a lady in your life and she can get a pair of uh, old pantyhose off her, well, this is going to be a lot cheaper. Um, basically, there's the top kind of underwear portion of the pantyhose, and then there's the mesh part that goes on the leggings. Um, cut off the leggings, that's the part you want to use. It's uh, really a fine mesh. and Just cut off a section about four or five inches, um, a little tube of it, then cut it down the side so it becomes a rectangle of pantyhose, and this is what you're going to wrap your bait in. Next, take a little bit of chicken liver and just dump it right there in the pile and uh, you're going to pull it all up like a little uh, knapsack. You're going to just pinch the corners together um, like a little bit of dim sum if you're into Chinese food. Just make a little pouch with all the corners all tucked up in one on, uh, hand and then shove the hook right where all those corners meet. Okay. The next what you're going to do is you're not going to get all the corners pinched on there. So find the loose sides, the loose parts and pull it up and stick it onto the point of the hook. Do this a couple times so the, the four corners are on the point of the hook and then once you got that down you're going to trim off the uh, kind of floppy bits, the extra bit of pantyhose that's just getting in the way. So trim that up, get it out of your way and once that's out you're going to find that there's still a few more bits and pieces that are exposing chicken liver. So anytime you see a little spot where there's chicken liver coming out grab the pantyhose and pull it over the point so that it's that ball of, of chicken liver is completely sealed up. Now just like the gauze once you get all the corners together you kind of twist it once or twice till it's a really nice tight ball and then you're going to drive the point into the top of the pantyhose ball and pull it out up through the top again. And this is going to make uh, just a really tight solid ball of chicken liver held together by pantyhose onto a single hook. It's a little bit simpler than the gauze method, it's cheaper than the gauze method. It's not as strong but it's pretty darn strong. The downside of using pantyhose to secure chicken liver is it's just a lot of work on the bank. Each time you catch a fish, each time you lose your bait, you've got to redo this little ball and it's a little bit of a hassle. Which brings me to my third favorite way to keep chicken liver on your hook which is to use Procure. You cure chicken liver using Procure. A bottle of Procure will run you about $10 and will cure at least 8 pounds of chicken liver. It makes them super tough, highly visible, very attractive, and they just stay on the hook really well. You can cast again and again and again and again, and even if you're casting 100 yards, it stays on the hook, which is a huge plus. But more than that, the reason why I like it more than the Borox Cure is that it produces this great color and scent trail. Uh, there's attractants in it that the fish just love and I've caught some great catfish on them. So the way you cure chicken liver with Procure is you take a Ziploc bag, you dump your liver in, you add some Procure, you shake it up and you let it marinate for about an, one to four hours. Once it's sat there and soaked up all that chemicals and the juices, you go and you pull it out and you put it on some hardware cloth or some mesh or drying rack and spread out all the chicken liver and let it just uh, air dry. And as you spread it out, it'll go and get tacky on one side, and then you'll go and flip it over and continuously kind of flip it over as one side dry, gets more dry than the other, just help it so it gets a nice even drying. And, uh, and then occasionally what you'll do is you'll sprinkle additional Procure onto the chicken liver to help suck up more of that moisture and really drive the moisture out of it. It can take anywhere between one to five days for the chicken to cure completely depending on the temperature but once it's done you're going to have this tough uh, pieces of chicken liver that are just going to really stay on the hook and they won't go rancid. You can have this in the refrigerator for several months without it going off. It's tough. The fish love the flavor and the scent and the colors um, so it's a really great way to catch a lot of fish. The downside is it's a lot of prep work. But the upside is, is once you do all the work, you can throw a big bu a bundle of it in the refrigerator. It's going to last a long time. And then there's very little work on the bank. You just put it on like normal bait and you're good to go. And so it's a great way uh, to uh, do all of your work and your prep work in advance. I love Procure because it drives the catfish crazy. But my second favorite method of using chicken liver is so much simpler. Elastic bait thread. 
Now you can buy some elastic bait thread for less than ten dollars and it's really easy to use. It's just basically a very thin rubber band. You put the chicken liver on the hook like you would any other bait, just pierce it one time, then you go and you start whipping the elastic thread around the liver and the shank of the hook. Just wrap it around in big loops, um, stretching it out as you go, and wrap it around until the bait is not flopping around on the hook anymore. It's as simple as that. Just keep wrapping as little or as much as you want to do, and once you've wrapped it as much as you want, you whip it a couple times around the shank, and then just break it off. That's it. No knots, no nothing. You're done. It is extremely tight and secure, and the hook, uh, the thread doesn't come off the hook. It's just brilliant. It's really, really simple. No tools, no fussing around. Uh, it takes seconds to do, um, and it's only slightly less tough and secure than pantyhose or surgical gauze. It's a really fast and simple method with a, just a little tiny thing of elastic bait thread that you can keep in your tackle box. So it's, uh, that's why it's number two on my list of favorite ways to use chicken liver. But number one requires even fewer tools. It's a simple knot. It's the egg loop knot. The egg loop knot is essentially a snelled hook with a retractable loop along the shank. You can pull it out and close it up very simply. So all you do is simply put some chicken liver on the hook like you normally would and then you take all the little dangly bits and you pin them to the shank with the retractable loop. It's as simple as that. There's nothing to buy. There's no tools. Um, it's just a knot and it's not any harder to tie than any other knot you would use to attach your hook. So by simply learning this knot you can make an easy to use super quick, effective way to keep chicken liver or any other soft bait onto your hook. And it doesn't require anything else. And that's why it's number one. It works great, it's super quick, and it doesn't require any tools. All right, that's the six best ways to keep chicken liver on your hook. Number six, curing chicken liver with borax and salt. Number five, stinger rigs and surgical gauze. Number four, pantyhose. Number three, curing liver with Procure. Number two, bait thread and my favorite way, the egg loop knot. If you want to find out more about any of these tips, there is a video for each one of these six methods on the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. If you want to see some great videos on how to tie egg loop knots, or how to cure chicken liver, or how to do any of the other things you see here today, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe today, or click on the videos above. Thanks for watching.